All right, so Kevin, you have to tell us why we came out to Asians on Film. Why was it important to come out to this festival today? It's always important to come out and support the arts, no matter what. <laughs> no matter what the opportunity is, it's always important to go support the arts. But for me in particular, I'm here because uh, I really enjoy seeing Asian Americans represented in film and, and seeing our work uh, expressed on, on, on camera. Why is it important to have a festival like this? I mean, obviously, you know, the, there's not very many like this, but why is it important for people to come together, actors, producers, writers, and this festival to happen? Hey, if we don't celebrate ourselves, who will? <laughs> so I think the first thing first is to really uh, become a community. And once we become a community, then we can actually acknowledge what's happening within our community and the, and the statements that are being made and the art that's being shared. Like, we really do have a very unique uh, cultural identity between us, and I think it's important for all of us to share that and, and acknowledge each other. Yeah. Now, many people obviously recognize you because you've choreographed and danced for some of the biggest artists on the planet. Um, tell us a little bit about Carnival because you did something a little different than what you normally do. Yeah, um, well, Carnival is always a, a wonderful opportunity to see fantastic works from choreographers. And uh, last night, I actually I opened the show and sang with my music. I actually have a music project called ThatRogueRomeo.com. Um, <laughs> that Rogue Romeo, uh, and uh, it's a little different being on the singing side of things, but I, I'm still. I'm still always and, and, and forever a dancer inside, so I, I approach it the same. Choreography with singing and is just exactly the same as choreography with movement, so I had, a, I had a blast. What do you find harder to do? Like if you have a performance, you know, if you're performing with Madonna or something, or your music, which one do you get more nerves? Which one takes a lot more rehearsal time? Ooh, um, I find Madonna's actually pretty easy. Well, I mean, it's difficult in terms of like aerobics, but uh, but it's set. You know your steps. You know where you need to be. You know what needs to happen. There is an unknown when you're doing your own work. When I'm doing my own work, I don't know if everything's going to be exactly what it is, and I have the freedom to within that piece do whatever the hell I want. So um, it's 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 nerve wracking in that sense that you don't know what's coming, but it's also exciting. It's it, you never know, and it's fun. Like something new comes out all the time. Was there any dancers or any pieces you saw at Carnival last night that really like moved you? Because you've seen a lot of dance, a lot of talent. Was there anything that was kind of different or exciting or maybe nothing hit the mark? Oh no, there was a lot. I, I couldn't quite hear who it was that was going up each time. I saw a lot of pieces that I loved and I, no I noticed a lot of people using more props, like more elaborate props, like literally constructed pieces and giant stage pieces. And um, there was a lot more sense of humor, which I enjoy. And I think some of the pieces that fell a little bit flatter were the ones that like had no particular story going on, but the ones that actually had a conversation within their their choreography those were the ones that were most effective especially the ones with humor what do you think about the grammys visually because a lot of people stepped it up there's pink obviously doing aerobics you had even even uh little taylor swift was doing some kind of dance i don't know exactly what it was but <laughs> rafaela <know>. cara <laughs> like exactly. the, head, the head toss the italian head toss yeah, from the 60s was there anybody from the grammys that you thought hit the mark was there anybody you think kind of fell flat Carol king and sarah Bare Bareilles, that was gorgeous i mean the, i i'm a big fan of either Go big or go small, but know your story, know what you're saying. I loved, I loved Macklemore. I mean, I wasn't so sure about Madonna this time because of the, the cane and the hunch. I wasn't sure, but that's her thing, you know. Macklemore, I thought he was just preaching. He was going to town, and he had, he, he meant what he said, and I really enjoyed that about him. Um, Katy Perry, a little like on the nose with the references and the I'm a bitch and here's my broom and here's my blood and my, my offerings. It was a little, a little bit much, but um. But I like that people are trying things, yeah, yeah. and that's the important part. I mean, Pink soaring in the air on a trapeze yeah. that whole time. I mean, just think of the breath control. I yeah. can't even, I can't falter for that. Sometimes it feels like, okay, now I'm, you know, I'm like, circle A. Yeah. Like, it, sometimes it gets a bit much for me. I also want to see people, like, take oh it God. way back down. <laughs> what was the Janet Jackson video you started? I did, I did if. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. That was all Asians as well. <laughs> so Asians represent with Janet Jackson. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Very fun. Every Asian in town did that one. <laughs> so the Grammys overall, though, there was some good stuff. Right? There was some great stuff, and I, I, I enjoy the their 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 uh, sort of the movement that they have with trying to create new moments, bringing people together in new ways, bringing people that wouldn't necessarily work together together in to, to create something new. Like I loved it when like Prince was working with Beyonce, and you know, yeah, I I enjoy what they're doing. They're on the right path. Lastly, where can people keep up with you and anything exciting you got coming up that you want to make sure that they check out? Oh my goodness. Well, you can always go to that rogueromeo.com or kevinstay.com. Uh, I am just finishing up my last video from this previous album that I did, and I'm about to go to China to shoot a documentary with my dad. All right, nice. Yeah. All right, some deep stuff in that? Deep or? Stuff in that. Oh, very deep. Yeah, no, he hasn't been back in 70 years since he escaped in the war. Okay. Um, and I've never traveled with him. I've never spent more than a night with him. 
I don't know anything about his, his childhood growing up. So I'm going to discover him at the same time he's remembering himself. So it's going to be quite interesting, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with us and uh, being here at Asians on Film. Thank you for having me.